Hi, welcome to this History Trip with Holly. <clears throat> Today I'm a bit annoyed. So I really enjoyed the Cormac Riley series by Dervla McTiernan. She's an Irish writer and I loved her books about Detective Cormac Riley and his challenges dealing with the various nefarious criminal elements of Dublin and his own challenges in his own love life and relationships and corrupt cops and all sorts of interesting Irish elements. Loved it. So I thought, great, I saw a new book come up, Dervla McTiernan. Fantastic. What happened to Nina? Hmm, it's a thriller, mystery. Okay, thinking probably still a police procedural. Let's go with it. Nah, it's American. And so it's set in Vermont and it's so predictable. She's got the rich boyfriend, the working class girl, they're in love, they go away together, you know, something happens to her, no one knows what. But honestly, there are so many cliches. You find out what happened within about, like within a few chapters. Um, she's got all the class, like all the elements of a modern crime thriller in there. She's got like social media challenges. She's got domestic violence issues. She's got entitled people. She's got money buying your way out of the justice system, stuff like that. So like, they're all good themes, but honestly, the characters are just two dimensional. The plot is so predictable and I'm really... Like I, I sat through it because I have trouble n not finishing books. I feel like I need to need to finish them, but honestly, I, I was so disappointed. So basically, it's a story of a rich young, like a young, a young couple, and they've known each other since high school, and they're in college and whatever, and they go away for a week. They go climbing, and um, then she doesn't leave the property. And so it's this sort of manhunt, like, where is Nina? What happened to Nina? That's the hashtag, all that sort of stuff. The grieving mother, the parents that find out what their son's done, all this stuff. But, like, honestly, the mystery solves so early. And I know it's meant to be a thriller, like, you're supposed to be psychologically involved in the characters. But they just weren't engaging. And even the multiple narrators really didn't have unique voices. Like, I found, I found the... The fact that there were multiple narrators through the different um, chapters, I just found that they're all the same anyway. They weren't distinctive character voices. Anyway, but as is my tradition in this channel, I will link it to real life. And there's a lot of elements of it that talk about how domestic violence is often hidden in our community, how people don't talk about it, and how if you confront it, it's not always easy, and sometimes it can damn well get you killed. So let's keep that in mind. The other big connection that I wanted to mention was the impact of social media on people's views. So what happens is this girl goes missing, and the friends start a social media campaign to try and raise awareness um, and get her home. And, of course, the parents of the rich boyfriend that's at the centre of the scandal, well, which is the main suspect, really, they employ, because they're super rich, employ this PR firm that starts putting up crap about her family and her. And so then there's, there's all these online trolls and they run trolling websites. This PR firm runs trolling websites. Anyway, whatever. It's all a bit predictable, but it did make me think, you know, like, the father, the stepfather of this girl, who was this lovely, wonderful, upstanding guy, got all this, there are all these rumours started that he lived somewhere else and was a pedophile or something. And all these people that knew him and worked with him all of a sudden believed it and stopped giving him business, stopped wanting their kids to come play at the house. Um, and it was just crazy. Like just because a few people made up these lies and they spread online, these bored people, um, they just believed it. And there was a really good point in the book where the mother of the missing girl, Nina, her name's Leanne, she says she's so angry because these stupid, bored people who see her daughter's disappearance as entertainment 
are getting their kicks out of ruining their family's life. And it's so true. Like how often do we hear stories about people having mental health crises or committing suicide over online trolling, businesses being made or broken based on lies sometimes that people tell online. So it's really, it's a timely reminder for us to think about what is it that we see online and can we trust it? Do we trust it? Does How much does it influence our opinion? And where else do we find information that can be more reliable? Because we need to make sure we think about that. Anyway, so definitely some important connections to the real world, which is why it's made it onto History with Holly. But in the end, Dervla, stick to Ireland. <laughs>